You're a tosser. You're an absolute don't fucking swear, tosser. Don't swear, Mel, or you will be arrested. No, I won't. No, I won't. You cannot, you cannot be arrested for swearing yes, at a police officer. No, you can't. Hi, uh, yeah, right. Thank you, Thank you. Thanks so much. I was as quick as I can there, Chris, because yeah, there's I'm a lot sure. of information. Yeah, I get about. that. I get that feeling. Um, yeah. And to be honest with you, I've, I've not even got through a fraction of it. Um, there's an awful lot there. Yeah. So, from what I can gather, um, you've got a complaint in, uh, as you mentioned, about your being arrested in 2022. Yeah. <coughs> so, Professional Standards Department are a national department that work throughout Scotland um, and investigator Robert Sullivan's one of the Professional Standards Department. Yeah, I know. That, 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 so, so that to me is quite a problem. But right. Do you, to be said, let me explain it and then what we can do is we can go back. I can answer your question rather than going with the twigs in between. So when you've um, made the complaint, he's tried to contact you so that we can get further information to progress your complaint. And I think on the last occasion he spoke to you, <coughs> Correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, you were unwilling to speak to him without your solicitor. So at that point, he's contacted who your solicitor was, and your solicitor's come back and said that they don't represent you. Um, no. Um, right, sorry, on you go. Right. Uh, that's um, actually not true. Okay. Um, um, he actually made contact with me at my home. Right, ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And um, he involved another service. Right. Right. What, what service was uh, I'm not willing to go into that at the moment because uh, I'm still waiting, right, ah. for his explanation right. to meet his formal explanation, like right. a statement. Right. And, um, I've asked the so PI, I, uh, PIRC ah. to actually supply that so because then I can then say, with the evidence, say that's not true right. at all. Okay. So at, at the moment, <laughs> I, you know. I appreciate right. So, uh, so please can please I just please say, please. sorry, right, that. Uh, the intimidation at my home uh, and then he rang me right. which I'm also mm -hmm. saying that telephone call mm -hmm. is a further abuse right. so what um, of that process and um, um, I want to question also mm -hmm. the uh, sort of communications with my solicitor so okay right, can I stop you and this might go and explain yeah. what I'm going to cover later. Okay. okay. Ultimately, you're not willing to tell me certain aspects, and I appreciate that. That's but only because. It's like so you uh, um, interviewing a suspect <coughs> that you want an explanation first yeah, before you yeah, say you've got the evidence and I, say I, that's false. I, I don't think that's <laughs> a suspect. Yeah, no, no, him. No, him. I'm talking about him. I'm giving so you a sort of simple. Right. Uh, um, a knowledge so, uh, uh, um, uh, um, of how evidence yeah. gathering works, um, shall we say? I've been a police officer for 22 years. <laughs> that, <laughs> evidence gathering works, but well, you I just sounded surprised then when I've just sort of like well, you well, know uh, told you how it works. Right. Well, I wasn't aware, so I've been surprised. But anyway, Chris, right, I okay. If you're unwilling to give me additional information, I can. Only it's not unwilling. It's just the procedural way of, uh, um, it goes around, isn't it? Yeah. Can I speak? And then, if there's anything you need to address at the end, I'm happy. Right, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Okay, so because of the lack of information that I have at the moment from you, I can only act on the information that I can see on the computer system, right. as I'm sure you can appreciate. Now, as I said, I've explained to you that um, the Robert's been in touch with you. He's saying that you wouldn't engage without your solicitor. He's contacted your solicitor, and your solicitor said they don't represent you. Now, Instead of abandoning the complaint, which we don't want to do, there's a criminal allegation in there. It's been referred yeah, I know that he's passed it on. It's been referred to Puck, okay? Right, you don't need to look so exasperated when I'm just adding something, please. I'm not looking exasperated. You are. I've asked you, if you let me finish. And once I think that the viewers will uh, uh, sort of like agree with me, well, okay? I'm you look exasperated I'm every time I open my I'm mouth. What, what your viewers agree or disagree with is of no consequence to me. I'm, you're it matters here, what you're I... In, you're in here looking for assistance yeah. and I'm to provide you that assistance and when I'm speaking, you're continually speaking over the top. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Occasionally, I'm, I'm adding I'm, information I'm, I'm, I'm that's important. 
to let me finish what I'm saying. And once I finish, I can go back and look at them. Now you're looking exasperated. I am looking exasperated. Well, and not now, but yeah. beginning when you started Chris, to actually show Chris, that Chris, exasperation. I'm already, I'm already, I'm already, I'm I don't want to argue either. Well, you've come in here today to look for assistance. I'm trying to assist you. But right, you're, you're but I've not had any assistance, have I? Yeah. You haven't. Why are you here today? What's the purpose of your visit today? To try and uh, um, actually get a crime reference for Diane Grant, right? Mm -hmm. And actually to find out when or if professional standards will in fact appoint a uh, investigator and also the information about my telephone which I wrote on the 5th <coughs> of December um, okay. about I've asked so quite clearly I'll, asked you I'll about answer these I'll answer three, three questions, things those three points can you get a crime number today no because I won't give you a crime number that would need to be reported through the means that I've already explained to you so if you think a crime's been committed then you report that via 101. But I've already done this, I've already done this, I've already done this by letter, I've already reported the crime. Right. That's what I'm talking about. So what, what That's what I'm talking about. Crime? What? What was the outcome of that report? I just got, um, I told you that earlier, that I've been sent three letters mm -hmm. saying that Diane Grant mm -hmm. uh, um, is being uh, um, sort of mixed up and sort of confused as a police Scotland employee. Right, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So that I've already made the crime reference, uh, uh, the crime report. So, like, I'm asking now, mm -hmm. where is that crime reference? We don't have a crime reference because we've not established any criminality, and I'm not going to take the crime report off you because that's not my role to do that. I've already submitted. Well, that would be, was on the fifth of December. The fifth, so that's currently being assessed at the moment. It's not being assigned to an investigating officer yet. No, that's what they keep on telling me. Yeah, and so that's, that's yeah, and I'm saying because, mm -hmm. right, of Detective Sutherland's influence. Does, he's no influence over this. Yes, he does. It, well, so why, why has Di and Grant then been assigned a Police Scotland staff member when she's not right. one? The PIC in their media public statement mm -hmm. claim they have no idea why Diane Grant would be considered as a Police Scotland employee. Uh, I so, what? How how can I answer that for you? Can well, that, you're a Police Scotland employee that that you claim that you've just been upstairs for twenty minutes yeah. trying to assist me. Yeah. Then, so you assist me in that. I, I can't assist you with that. Why? As, as I said, I, I Why? Look at, well, so that I'm you're not, saying that Robert O'Sullivan hasn't got anything in it. I, I am and I'm saying it. Yes. How did you, Robert Sullivan was trying to investigate your complaint. Yeah. So that's why you attended your house. That's why he's getting in contact with you. That's yeah. why. So how are you, how do you want your complaint to be taken forward if you're not allowing Robert Sutherland to speak to you? Because um, I was perfectly willing for anybody to speak to me. Um, it's just that he turned up at my home <coughs> and no. did something incredibly, incredibly uh, intimidating, right? And all of the rest of his contacts, right, uh, um, I'll show in the evidence um, is actually harassment and intimidation. Um, okay, based on my diagnosis of actually autism. And I will further show with the evidence that it was a continuation of the offences that actually began during the custody. Okay, okay. So that, that's something that you right. so, the so, 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 so I try to complain uh -huh. right, to the PI, I, PIRC who are supposed to investigate you, mm -hmm. right, and that she's turned around and said that, that sort of no contact was made. So now that I've made uh, that and other no reasons, right, that and other uh, 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 Detective Robert Sutherland, she says that nothing no contact was made whatsoever, right, right in her report, uh -huh. right? And that and other um, sort of things that she read uh -huh. in that, uh, put in that report, uh -huh. uh, um, has caused me to say that is a criminal offence, what she has done. So therefore, um, I have a right, because uh -huh. she's a member of the public, uh -huh. to a crime reference. Right. Well, a crime needs to be committed. It to has, a crime yeah. In your opinion, that may be the case. Yeah, well, it's whether, got to be investigated. Whether, in your opinion, a crime's committed, She's, she's still not a Police Scotland staff. It doesn't matter. She's still not a Police Scotland staff. Even if you Police Scotland staff, you can still put a complaint in. Even I've put the complaint in. But do you think it came across that it's not criminal? No. 
I told you quite clearly, criminal, right? And if you want to have a look at my evidence, right, before you start doubting me, because that's what you're I doing right now. Oh, is it criminal? No, that's Trust, what you're doing, Trust, you're doubting me, Trust, right, okay? She's definitely Trust. committed criminal offences in a public Trust. office, and the evidence shows it, right? right? So, does this, sort of none of this fobbing me off out the door Trust. with, like, oh, is it not really Trust. committed offence, it's Trust. just that and just that. Trust. No, we've that's been, not Trust. true. We've been very patient with you. Okay. No, you've not. Um, no, I've been I'm very patient with you. I put these, um, I put these, uh, uh, I'm autistic, and I do this as a matter of course. And well, well, it's a matter of course. I do I'm it with my hands. I've always done it since birth, and I cannot right. stop it. It's neurological. You don't need to raise your voice, it's neurological. You yes, I do because you're not listening. Well, you're not listening. No, you're not listening. Yeah. I've asked for a crime reference. Where is this crime reference? Where is this crime reference? I've reported the criminal offences. No, you've reported what you perceive to be a criminal offence. No. Then where is the crime reference? Speaking over me, I will terminate this interview. Okay. You're supposed to give the public a crime reference. If, when we carry out the investigation with the Where is officer, the crime reference report? Chris, to I'm say that I've actually made a, um, a crime report against I'm her. I'm terminating this interview with you, you're not listening. Right, what are your name then, please? My name's John Donnelly. John H Donnelly. H1041. What is your uh, job title? It's a professional standards constable. Okay. And yours, please? Cat Hickson. Cat Hickson. Cat Hickson, uh, Hickson and. <coughs> Hotel 591. And what are you? What is your job Same. title? Same job. Right. Okay. So what's going to happen now then? What's going to happen now is I'm going to ask you to leave. So um, am I going to get a crime I'm reference? Talking. No. Uh, right, well I'm not leaving then until I get a crime reference. I'm not leaving it. I'm not leaving until I get a crime right. reference. I'm sorry. Yeah. If you have no reason to be here and cause any annoyance to any of the staff or any other members of the public, you will be removed. And you've run the risk of being arrested. No, I don't. No, I don't. You're, You're a tosser. You're an absolute don't fucking swear. tosser. Don't swear at me, or you will be arrested. No, I won't. No, I won't. You cannot, you cannot be arrested for swearing yes, at a police can. officer. A police no, you can't. Can. No, you yeah, can't. This is, no, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. No, it's not. I'm going. I'm going. But I've had enough of you, and I'm raising a complaint against you. That's fine. You're absolutely entitled to do that, Chris. Um, it's corruption, that's what it is. You're not supplying a crime reference when a crime has been reported to you. you wanted, a crime has been reported to you. 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 It's corruption. You're allowing him to intimidate and harass me. You're, you're allowing a police... You are allowing a professional standards police officer. No. No, you're intimidating me. If you don't like my answer, it doesn't make it wrong. Okay, you're honestly. intimidating me. I've asked for a crime reference because criminal offences have happened. Okay. Well. So, guys, there we have it. What an absolute fucking arsehole.